I believe that people don't decide for only three reasons. People blame all the woes of their lives on circumstances, other people, and then ultimately themselves. It's, um, it's shifting from like the finite to the infinite um, perspective. And so like, how do you win at business? You win by not stopping, yep. right? And so it's clear like, what, and then normally when you overcome these, sorry, I could talk about this forever, but like when you overcome these obstacles with somebody, it's like, I don't have time, right? I'll just give you a simple one. Cause this is one, this is for everybody who's listening. Because right now you're probably not doing something cause you're like, I'm too busy. I'll start when it's convenient, whatever. If you say that as the excuse for not doing something, then there's an assumption underlying that that says that if I get busy again in the future, I will stop. And so do you want the success that you want to be long-term? Yes. Then do you believe that you'll never be busy again for the rest of your life? No. So then you might as well start when you're busy so that you have the most support. Because if you learn how to do it when you're busy, when, you get, when it gets quiet, you'll succeed even more. And when it gets busy again, you know how to do it because that's how you start it. Right? Obstacle overcome. And then, one step closer to making a decision. People start from the outside in. So it's so easy to say, I don't have time. It's the easiest thing to say, I don't have time, I don't have money, right? And then once you peel, you, you, you show them how that's a fallacy, it's a logical fallacy, it's a distortion of reality. You peel that back, you get one layer closer to them. My wife won't let me, my partner won't let me, my kids, so you can feel like it's, it's closer to you, right? And you peel that out because how do you overcome that? Well, five years from now, if you didn't do the things that you wanted to do with your life and you blamed your wife, the whole time because she wouldn't let you do it who are you gonna blame and so finally when they're in the avoidance part the biggest fear they have is making a mistake right they don't want to be seen as stupid they don't want to lose status as a result of this decision but so many people are stuck in that same spot for why they're not taking action whether it's selling a product or selling themselves and i think that those frameworks of thinking through each of those problems and there's a zillion of them for each of those things um i had to develop because i use those on myself so I was like, I have to give myself a compelling reason to start doing stuff. I have to give myself a compelling reason to make decisions when I don't want to. I have to give myself a compelling reason that I can explain to a partner why I made this decision. And so I feel like a lot of people feel like there's something wrong with experiencing human emotions. And so they are stressed and then think there's something wrong with them. And so somebody's sad and then they tell themselves they're, that they're, they're bad because they're sad or they're wrong to be sad or they're a piece of shit because they're sad, um, rather than saying, isn't this a beautiful thought about human existence? Like, if I could not be sad, then I would not experience joy. So like, if I say that I don't wanna be sad anymore, then I would also have to give up joy. Am I willing to do that? No. Well, then this is just a part. Like, I can't say that I want sunny days if there are no rainy days. Like, we don't say weather is good or bad, it just is. And so I think to the same degree, the human experience is also that way too, at least how I define it. And so I think having that as my backbone frame in terms of my worldview, although contrarian, has helped me a lot in dealing with the things that often derail entrepreneurs on their path to getting what they want. I'll tell you one of the things that's, that's shaped my life in terms of business stuff is understanding the concepts of, of leverage, right? And so a lot of people are limited um, by either the skills, the beliefs, or the traits they have, right? And so the skill deficiency is the easiest one to fix. It's like go do repetitions in a community of people who are also doing repetitions to learn the same skill and you will learn it quickly, right? That's the thing. Then you have traits and beliefs, which is a little bit more amorphous, right? And so from a, from a beliefs perspective, it's you need someone to tell you stories that you believe to be true that conflict with your view of reality. And then their, their, the evidence of their story being truer than yours, then that, it's like a frame control that frame now wins and that becomes the new lens that you see everything through, right? And I'm sure in the, in the entrepreneur space, one of the most common traits is, is focus, right? People can't do the same thing over and over again. They just do all these half-built bridges. And so I know for me, my big explosion happened in my entrepreneurial journey when I went from having nine businesses, that is not a, not a misspeak, nine, as in one less than 10. Um, and it was only, you know, when Layla came in and she was like, you know, I think, Maybe if we just did one thing, you could win. Because she was like, imagine like, imagine if all you had to do is make one of these businesses work. How easy would that be? I was like, oh my God, if I'm gonna make one of them work, it'd be a joke. And like, I heard myself say that and I was like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Why are you so dumb? And so like the trait that I was missing at that point was focus and or discipline. I couldn't say no.
I didn't have that muscle. So that was a trait I lacked. And so it's like, boom, and then that blew up. And so it's like, sometimes the question is, which of these things do people lack? Um, and so since we don't always know, because we don't have the perspective to judge ourselves often, it's like, you just got to keep moving in all the directions, getting in those communities. And then like, that's ultimately, like I'm a big believer in the alternative education space, the whole guru space that everyone, you know, laments and, and hates. Um, I learned everything from that space.